Well, I was absent for a bit, uh, personal things, and then I was in the hospital. So uh, this week seemed like a really great week to kind of catch up because a whole bunch of information came out of New York Comic Con. Plus, there's just good stuff to look forward to with Lower Decks starting back this week. Strange New Worlds having a new uh, guest star being announced. Uh, Same with uh, Starfleet Academy, for pity's sakes. Also, just news on that as well. Also, I've got some weird stuff that's been happening with Star Trek Legacy and, of course, clips and trailers and stuff to talk about happening with that Lower Decks premiere coming this week. So yeah, let's catch up. This is the Star Trek Void, where I try to fill in the gap between new episodes with a little news, a little information, and hopefully a little bit of entertainment. And we're just going to get right into it. Because the long-awaited premiere date for Section 31 has finally been announced. Yes, January 24th of next year. I knew it wasn't going to be this year. Everybody was like, it's going to be by the end of the year. But no, it's going to be here three days before my 50th birthday. So happy birthday to me. This is shared by Trek Central. Breaking news, Star Trek Section 31 movie will release on January 24th, 2025. The news was shared live at New York Comic Con 2024. Will you be watching? I absolutely will be watching. They also released some of this artwork here. Also, this one shared by Star Trek and CBS Studios. But yeah, we got some great images going with our Section 31 with the cast. And, uh, I mean, we, we've we kind of seen sort of the cast. We don't know exactly who everybody's going to be. But uh, we're, we're getting some interesting ideas here with uh, w- with these pictures, with the outfits. Uh, yeah, not saying a lot. Still, I mean, James Bond in space with what works involved, which is really James Bond everywhere. So, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Section 31. We also got some news from Starfleet Academy. This one is Star Trek and CBS Studios as well. Starfleet Academy Season 1 has a brand new character or actor, we should say, Tatiana Maslany. And it says, incoming transmission, Star Trek, Starfleet Academy welcomes guest star Tatiana Maslany. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm getting it wrong. Plus, a renewal for Season 2. This cracks me up. We're fighting to get Star Trek Legacy created, and they've already got a second season for a show that has yet to air. So, you know, yay for them. I'm not I'm not mad at it. Um, kind of kind of getting whacked out about the Star Trek Legacy of it all. Mostly because, and this is like a sort of an announcement, but when it comes to the Legacy Facebook page and membership, It's been growing exponentially, just amazingly lately. I'm not sure exactly what's been going on, but fans seem to be really buying into the idea that if we just work together, we could really make this happen. So if you have not joined us yet on Facebook, Star Trek Legacy, find the page, join us. Again, there's a lot of ways you can can contribute as a fan to try and get this series made. We figure we've got at least another two years to get it done. So uh, yeah, just... Thank you for those of you who have been joining us, and I'll include the link so you can join us on Facebook and figure out how you can help spread the word. Next up, more news, though. This one for Strange New Worlds. As a guest star will be joining there as well, Star Trek and CBS Studios share Red Alert. Reese Derby is beaming into Star Trek Strange New Worlds as a Season 3 guest star. Star Trek Strange New Worlds, New York Comic Con, Star Trek, New York Comic Con, all hashtagged here. So Reese Darby, it'll be interesting to see what kind of character he's going to play. And we've had some amazing guest stars that have really brought a lot to to the uh, series as it's gone on. So yeah, I'm really interested to see what kind of craziness he's going to bring. Also got some articles here this week that have uh, some interesting information for us as well. TrekMovie.com shares that we can watch season four of Star Trek Lower Decks for free on YouTube and Pluto TV. So before that season premiere, if you need to catch up on season four, that's how we can do it. New artwork, this one shared by Trek Central, breaking new Star Trek Lower Deck Season 5 poster. They always have great posters. I'm, I'm a little upset to Lynn isn't on it, but that's all right. I'm not going to get mad. This looks like fun, Um, and there's always some good clues about the stories coming up in the artwork. Yeah, we're, we're in for a ride. If you weren't sure what kind of ride, this Screen Rant article kind of says it all. Well, it says a little something, really, that we've all been waiting for. If you've been a Voyager fan, uh, Star Trek finally promotes Voyager's eternal ensign after 29 years. Yes, there is an episode with many, many Kims, and one of them has two pips. Yeah, we've got some trailers and clips going on out there. This one is fun because of all all the just, yeah, just all the fun clips in it. But by far, one of the more interesting parts is... Wait, everyone, shut up! This Kim's got...
two pips. You're all still ensigns? And it would be awful to walk in and be like, everybody else but yourself has moved along. Oh, every other version. Anywho. Moving on, though, New York Comic Con also gave us another storyline to be looking forward to, where the Cerritos meets the Cerritos. That always goes well when the ships meet other versions of themselves. It's, it's always fantastic. Captain, we're receiving 285,000 hails. Back to Voyager for just a minute. I'm, I'm really excited about this. The documentary about Voyager and the creation of Voyager, the series, um, is we're already getting clips. This is very cool. Watch new clip from Voyager Doc to the journey. Tickets available for New York City screening with Kate Mulgrew. This is really bringing back memories. So we're going right by 8 and 9. Yeah. All yeah, of are. the cast trailers were, we're here. here. Yeah, so there is a clip available, um, and I'll make sure you have a link to it. But um, I'm, I'm clipping it very badly here on this recording uh, that that kind of gives us a, a sneak peek of, of what this documentary will be. Now, I'm personally very excited to see this one. Um, the the documentary for Deep Space Nine was really good. And I've watched it multiple times because it was just that good. It makes me very sad and kind of, you know misses people because they are no longer with us i'm i'm looking forward to seeing this because we've heard more and more about what it was like to work on the show and, and there were a lot of behind the scenes things that we were unaware were problems i don't think it'll be good to hear these stories so um yeah looking forward to this one yet another reason i wish i was headed to new york at some point uh, but as far as i'm aware that's not gonna be happening anytime really soon definitely not in time to get these tickets now, Trek Central also wanted to share this with you, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I'm sharing it too. Uh, breaking, uh, Fan Home has enhanced the full list of the first 20 Star Trek models that will be released in its new Starships collection. The first eight models are currently being given a uh, preview for the press at this New York, this year's New York Comic Con, and the first model, Titan A, will be available to purchase at the events. Now, of course, that the event is now finished, but these are very cool to look at, and again, uh, if you are a collector of the ships, this might be the collection you've been waiting for because there are a great array of ships that we have not had before um, and some that have been like the remodels. So very much worth looking at if you are a collector of the ships of any kind. I generally stick with the characters personally, but I, these are some really fantastic designs and they've decided to go through them. I mean... Again, 20 different ones, not all of them ones that we've seen before, not ones that we've seen in this uh, manner, I should say, before. And so if you are a collector, definitely want to want to keep an eye out for that. As speaking of collecting, I just thought this was pretty funny. This is another Screen Rant article, very much worth a share. Katie Sackhoff must join Star Trek and complete her perfect sci-fi hat trick. Um, yeah, because, of course, we've got her on Battlestar and we've got her on Star Wars. Wouldn't be great if she joined the family as a, a, a Trek alum. I would personally find that really convenient. I love that I can go to Star Trek events and meet uh, Star Trek stars who just happen to be in other shows that I like as well. And she would help complete my fa Flash collection too because she was uh, at Amunet on, on the Flash. <laughs> so I think we should get her involved. Um, they're inviting everybody else to do Star Trek Academy. Why not have her pop up <laughs> as a guest star as well? And this has been the quick and dirty catch up for the Star Trek void as I am getting healthier and hopefully we'll be back to regular uh, weekly updates. Just they got out of hand. Things got away from me. And boy, oh boy, when things get away from me, do they get away from me? So uh, glad we got this catch up. I hope that you are all set to watch Lower Deck season five. Um, it's sort of sad to see them go, but my younger, my youngest daughter and I, we are, we're looking forward to seeing what happens to our crew as they finish off their career as a junior officers on Lower Decks. And then hopefully we'll see them in something else. You know, Tawny's doing things. I'm sure she's going to write them in for something later, yes? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you enjoy the format in which I present information, please feel free to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you'll know when the next video does come out. Thank you, as always, to my members. I do appreciate that extra bit of support. It really does come in handy. And please feel free to share this video if other folks you think would enjoy catching up on Star Trek like this because, um, yeah, this is how I do it. <laughs> Sometimes I have other stuff, but we needed to do a catch up. And if you didn't get quite enough Star Trek information, please do check out other videos on this channel. They are around and you can find them under the Star Trek Void playlist. And no matter which video you decide to watch, I will see you there.